My name is Paul Donnelly, I'm the chairperson of Dublin Sinn Féin and I'd like to welcome you all here to Ballyfermit Community Centre um, for the selection of a candidate for the Dublin South Central constituency for the general election. So without further ado, I am, I'm going to call for a nomination um, for the constituency for Dublin South Central. I'm looking for a proposer. Thank you, sir. Have we got a seconder? <coughs> Do we have any other nominations? No. Okay. Um, as we don't have anybody up against Angus. <laughs> um, <laughs> I deem Angus to have been selected for the Dublin South uh, constituency. Dublin South Centre, sorry. <laughs> South Centre, you just, just didn't let me finish. Okay. Um, I'd just like to call on uh, Angus to have a few words. Thanks. Congratulations. Gorham Wahagwerth, Massam. Arish. I'm a Sasta, Glockalish and Unorata, Korha, Unum, Shasif, Harkan Shin Fain, in St. Clair Tau Conella, August Mavuikas live, Oshin, August Mavuikas live, or Fad, Os Quidulum, Tuntrevsha, O Taugme, or Dus, Egamilis Ado, but few Rivishin, Fi Rintigwif, Eg Tor Takiak Dom, August Quidudum, O Hosame, Shasif in St. Cantorsha, Nudeg Nokan Nui. I want to thank everybody for. Uh, their help over the years, especially since uh, I first contested Dublin South Central in 1999. Uh, many years have been uh, involved in various campaigns with me since then, and uh, we've been through a lot. But since 2007, the last election where um, Sinn Féin won this seat again by 69 votes, a lot has happened. Uh, a lot of change has happened in, in, in this country. But in particular, in the last two to three years, uh, everything that we have argued uh, for um, is coming true now. The government have exposed the corruption that we understood and most working class people understood was going on. It has come uh, out in the full light of day. The corruption in the banks, uh, the skullduggery in relation to all, all of the developments and uh, speculation around the country. And that, all, all of that gives us specific challenges in this area, because this area, Dublin South Central, has a history of very low turnouts. Um, so it's, it's up to us to persuade the electorate, first of all, to vote, but more importantly, to vote for Sinn Féin. And it is a big challenge, and anybody who's been involved in elections uh, knows uh, how much of a challenge has been in the past. I believe it's going to be more so a challenge this time because people have become cynical. So it, it, it is up to all of us in the next couple of weeks uh, to try and persuade more and more people to vote for Sinn Féin. I think in the last number of weeks uh, a, lot, a lot has happened which has put Sinn Féin back where we should be uh, in the, 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 the front of the people's movement. Uh, leading the people's anger against this government and against those who support the government, which uh, in, in that I would include Fine Gael in particular, but also le the Labour Party. We have to expose the contradiction in both of their, their, those parties, but we also have to uh, ensure that our policies are put out there, the solutions and the, 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 the arguments and the policies that we have, which have stood the test of times, and I believe that everybody in this room will, will uh, be with us during that election campaign, and I think by your attendance tonight, and it's a great attendance, I think uh, you've sh you, you, you're shown kind of that you will be hopefully available during the election campaign. And the election campaign basically starts from now. We don't know when the election is, other than that the Green Party have said they'll pull the plug on it uh, when the finance bill is passed. That can be passed in the first week, second week, or third week in January, and then you have a three 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 week uh, campaign, election campaign. Uh, Paul mentioned this, this centre here. Um, 
when Sinn Féin first uh, had a major meeting in this, this centre, they probably had ones before that, uh, and some in the hall might be able to, to, to remember back that. When we had our Ardesh in this hall, that was a time when the media and the establishment uh, went hell for leather to try and destroy Sinn Féin. And some of that agenda is still there today. And you will see uh, the, the media and the establishment parties turning on Sinn Féin in the next number of weeks. And again, that's an additional challenge to us. And I think Sinn Féin and our, our supporters work best kind of when, when, when there is a challenge put out there, when somebody puts it up to us and there's a fight. Uh, and I think that's, that's there at the moment. Um, I'm not going to go on uh, 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 much longer because uh, I, th I think anybody who knows me knows that I could speak here kind of <laughs> until the cows come home. That is not the purpose of this meeting. The purpose was to, 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 to allow the party to endorse a candidate here and to encourage everybody to try and tie in to this election campaign and also to, 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 to gather in some of the anger that is out there amongst the public uh, and to put across our, our, our solutions. So I would urge people in the next couple of weeks to get more people to join our campaign uh, to help as much as they can. Many of you are already doing a huge amount of work. If people want to lend any extra support, uh, the, 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 I'd ask them to fill out the, the sheets that's on, on the, the, the chairs and ensure that we're in contact with you, but whatever other people that you can get to join the campaign, that you bring them along with us. Um, so, Fogel Meg, Shane, I guess, Arish, Gorham, Agus, Vas, and Onor, Ata, Korho, Onum, Agus, Reha, Misha, and Sam Taukam, Harv, Vorkyam, Agus, Enem, Emo, Yehil, on Sirkan, Avokam, the Rish, Agus, Enem, Kint, Aguil, Foreign, Sinn Fein, In, Sam Dahl, Awad, Erin, Nis, Laid, Ram, Akansha, Gorham, Agus. First of all, I want to congratulate Ingus Snoddy, and I think there was no question about who we were going to select anyway. But uh, <laughs> it, it's, it's always that you know that nerve-wracking when you go, "Is there any other proposers?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, but uh, you, you just never know how these things go. But look, everybody knows that Ingus has the qualities uh, to, to, to represent, as he has done for the last eight, over eight years uh, in the Dáil to represent this constituency to the best that he can and as he said at the, at the end that he will do his best to, to win this election and to represent the people. Well all of us know that, that not only will Angus do his best, he will move mountains to make sure that he will represent the people of this constituency and he's never missed an opportunity to stand up uh, and be counted where it needed to be standed up and not just here because Angus doesn't just look locally, he looks nationally and he also looks internationally and that's the true uh, tribute of a, of, a Republican, of a Republican because we're not the Gombean politicians, as I talked about, Lowry and, <laughs> Lowry and, and, and Jackie Healy Ray, you know, the people are seen at a time when our country has been sold out to international agencies, to international banks and the IMF and the European Commission. People are starting to look about what is Ireland all about. And they are starting to come back to the flag and they're starting to look at republicanism. Maybe it's more nationalism, but they're, 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 they're starting to think that way anyway. And the other thing is that we've been proven correct. And we are exposing the great pretenders out there. And this election can't be just about attacking Fianna Fáil, because it, like, attacking Fianna Fáil is nearly like kicking a, a, a dying animal at this stage. You know, the, people know what they've done to this country, and we should not let them off the hook. But we need to keep our sights focused firmly also on Fianna Gael. Uh, Fianna Gael, myself and Angus, was there today, and uh, we, we accepted a petition from those uh, that were campaigning against the reduction in the minimum wage. And uh, Richard Britton out addressing the crowd. You know, it's just, I, I asked Ian, because I said, go, go up to see if he's got his fingers crossed behind his back. <laughs> you know, who really believes that Fine Gael are going to protect the minimum wage in government? Who really believes that they will, you know, although they voted against the social welfare bill this t uh, tonight in the Dáil, which take, took eight euro from those that are dependent on social welfare, Fine Gael voted against it. And the only reason you can think why did they vote against it is because in their plan they want to reduce the social welfare payments by 18 euro. You know, so like we need to expose them all the time, and we need to expose the Labour Party also, who are getting away with blue murder in the, in the media up until now. You know, the Labour Party that's talking about not one cut will be reversed. The Labour Party that's going to make sure that the, the cuts that have been introduced, the reductions in minimum wage, the reductions in social welfare, the pain that's going to be heaped onto families because of this budget and, and previous budgets, 
that that will go to pay the gamblers in Anglo-Irish Bank. You know, we need to expose that and we can't let them away with their, you know, their one-liners out in the media or out in the community. So this election is going to be crucial. And if all of us put our shoulders to the wheel, if all of us you know, take them on in the way that we know that only Republicans can take them on, just God knows what could be at the end of, of this election for Sinn Féin. It could be a very, very good election and, and, and it, it could be a, a very good turning point in Irish society where people are actually looking past you know, the, the, the Tweedledum and Tweedledee, but also you know, starting really to, to, to question the Labour Party as well um, in, in relation to where, where they're at. And I really believe that there's something special out there. There's something special out there, and it's circumstances, it's a lot of different things have come, in, have come together that can, that can make the next couple of weeks, the next couple of months, the next couple of years, pivotal years for not only Sinn Féin, but for Ireland. To change society, that people are looking at us, that we're the leaders of the future. We are the history makers, we're the society changers. So let's get out with it. You all know how difficult it's going to be. You know the forces that are going to be up against us. You know how tight it was to win the seat the last time round. And let's take nothing for granted to get out there and to convince as many people as possible that there is a better, fair way. There's a, a Republican alternative, and Angus O'Snoddy, in this campaign, is our ambassador to take that uh, flag and that message forward. So, Gurmai Gupir. I'll be voting for Angus O'Snoddy and I'll be supporting Angus O'Snoddy because he's done a marvellous job in this constituency. He worked very hard for the constituents and he's got the national question. He, on the national question he's excellent and he knows all about uh, the effects on the poor, the cutbacks, how they're going to affect the poor and particularly he's strong on the reduction in the, uh, in the minimum wage which is a disgrace because of it costs 40 euro for every person who's working a 40 euro week and they're losing a euro an hour. That's 40 euro to the lowest paid people in the country. And uh, Angus is uh, very strong at this and I'll be supportive. I'm back in Angus because he's been the TD for Dublin South Central for the past eight years. And I've worked with him for the past 12 years in different elections. He's worked hard in the local area. Uh, one of the things he worked hard on is saving the swimming pool over my area in Crumlin. Uh, the water cuts charges that he, the new campaign he has out now. I also like his policies and Sinn Féin's policies against the budget. I'm back in Angus because um, he's against the current budget cuts that Fianna Fáil have brought in. And I believe that he'll fight for the rights of the people who are being affected most by this recent budget brought in by the Fianna Fáil government. I believe that he will, if elected, he'll do his best to reverse the cuts in social welfare and minimum wage. And that's the reason I'm supporting him because I'm one of those people that will be affected by these cuts.